My name is John Sinclair, Private Eye. I'm pretty much a normal guy with an ordinary life, except I'm the most extraordinary man there is. My life is full of deception and secrets. Like when I said I was a normal man, that was deception. I could sense trouble coming. I heard a knock at the door and instantly put on my poker face. She introduced herself as Mrs. Josephine Walker, wife of the late Terry Walker, my roommate in college. But I don't ever remember getting a wedding invitation. I had met with Terry previously that week. He had something important to deliver, and he didn't want to get into the wrong hands. To protect myself, I wore one of my many disguises. He was in danger. The Mafia had placed a hit on him. I imagine they were after the very same item he was entrusting me with. I suspected she was here on behalf of the Mafia to obtain the necklace using seductive trickery. If not, then why would she be showing so much leg? She fed me some phony story about how she'd been unable to meet her husband for the last couple of months for her own protection. Side note, she's totally coming on to me. I wasn't buying the whole innocent, my husband just died baloney. She was here for two things and two things only. One, the valuable necklace, and two, my hot body. Part of me wanted to toy with her second objective. After all, she was gorgeous, and my neighbor Olga just wasn't cutting it lately. Then she finally got to it. She asked about the silver necklace. Funny thing was, I never said it was silver. I didn't want her to know that I was suspicious. She needed to walk into my trap, so I put on my poker face again. She was informed that the necklace would be at my office on Monday. The day came, and my ingenious plan was set into motion. Mrs. Josephine arrived at my office overzealous at the sight of the necklace that she claimed to be hers. It tore me up inside, putting such a pretty thing away, but I'm a detective, dang it, and I've got a job to do. I felt I owed her some sort of explanation. Her flaw had simply been knowing too much. Any experienced detective, such as myself, could see right through that. Her act of innocence was so convincing that even I almost wanted to believe her, but hardened criminals like her have to pay. It's just part of the job.